Hi everyone, welcome to Ask LGC Medicine. I'm Limrong, a student from the class of 2025. I'm Pujita from the class of 2024. Today we are here to tackle your questions that you have sent to us. Well, in year two, there is the Imperial Exchange. So I personally got to go to Imperial and I got to interact with students from Imperial for a week. So I learned about their curriculum, their student life, and I also got to tour London a little bit together with the students from Imperial and we made a lot of friends and a lot of good memories. Aside from the Imperial Immersion, there are also opportunities for you to travel overseas for research. So for example, after the Year 4 Scholarly Project, if you have a project that you would like to present in a conference overseas, you can sometimes apply for grants from the school and they will sponsor part of your conference fees or your trip overseas to present at the conference. You also have the opportunity to take part in overseas community involvement projects. Personally, I was part of the group that was working with Sri Lanka, but unfortunately, we didn't get to go down because of the pandemic. But I'm sure that in the future, if the situation gets better, you get opportunities to do so. In year five, you also have the opportunity to do selectives overseas, where you can choose a country you want to go to to further see what the, the healthcare system is like there. So wherever you go, if you join us in LKC, there's always opportunities to go overseas. Personally, I didn't disrupt, but yes, I know a lot of friends who are now my seniors who have disrupted from national service to start their medical school early. So if you have a place in a local medical school, MINDEF would usually grant you deferment to start your MBBS degree earlier. Do note that any disruption on deferment is solely at the discretion of MINDEF. So let me talk about hospitals first. So if you get uh, rotated different healthcare classes in your year 3 to 5 posting, so you can be part of like the National Healthcare Group, you can go to Sing Health regions as well as the NUHS region. So you really are rotated along different parts of Singapore to get a whole range of experiences. But with regard to this question on experiences beyond the hospital, yes, we also work with National Skin Centre for dermatology postings. We also work with the Institute of Mental Health for your psychiatry postings in year four as well. So you get to get polyclinic experiences as well, even in year one with the hospital and polyclinic weeks. So don't worry because when you join LPC Medicine, you do get a whole range of experiences to grow as a person and as a future doctor. I did biology in JC and I feel that if you have done biology in JC or in IB, you have a good foundation to start with. However, this is not to say that physics students won't be able to catch up. In the first few weeks of school, there's a dedicated module to bring everybody up to speed on the basic principles of medicine and science. So we call this the foundations of medicine block. So physics students usually catch up very quickly. And after these 10 weeks, everybody starts off at the same level. Medicine also requires a bit of physics as well. So for those of you who do bio, don't worry because you can always learn for your peers in certain uh, modules such as that of cardio as well as respiratory. But ultimately, we are all here to learn together in this team-based module, so you'll be able to help each other in areas you fall short. So anatomy lessons are usually held in year one and year two, and this is to give you a foundation for your learning the different organ system blocks. How we learn anatomy in LKC medicine is we use plastinated specimens, are basically real samples that are preserved. And we use these specimens to give us an idea of how the different organs look like, how the organs are arranged in relation to each other. We also use a state-of-the-art anatomite table, which is basically uh, a huge table with the ability to cut through different layers of the human uh, skin and muscle, so that it gives you a very clear digital structure of the structures in the human body. We also use 3D printed models to supplement our learning. Overall, I feel that the fascinated specimens are a great way for us to learn because it gives you a very clear idea of how the structures look like, and some of the specimens you get to hold up close and you get to look very deep inside the specimen to see how it's organised and how the structure looks like from the inside. Actually Ling Rom, the interesting part was this was a question I had before joining LKC as well and I feel that I did not lose out in any way and the school was actually very quick to adapt during the COVID situation because much of the models you heard from Lim Rong are actually physical samples but during the COVID pandemic, the school was quick to create online resources that further engage our anatomy learning. So in that sense, don't worry because if you do join LKC Medicine, you're well supported regardless of what type of learning style you have. Actually, both of us had multiple offers, so this was something that we considered early on. Like, which school best suited our interests? And that's why when we answer this question, we like to tackle it on multiple grounds. I think firstly, it's important to understand that we are all here to be doctors at the end of the day. So regardless of what medical school you choose, you're here to be the doctor that you envision yourself to be five years down the road. That being said, the type of school you choose really depends on your own learning style. So for me, I chose LKC because it suited my interests. LKC employs a team-based kind of learning approach. So I was never actually a lecture person. I always fell asleep during lectures. So when I learned through discussions and doing my own reading at my own time as well, I was able to grasp concepts better and also could debate with my friends, hear of unique perspectives from all sides and it really enriched my learning experience as well. Another interesting thing for LKC would also be the fact that it's very technologically advanced. 
use anatomy tables, we have multiple research partnerships as well as many clinician scientists who are there to guide experiences. Even during your team-based set learning sessions, you have many facilitators who can range from doctors to clinicians who, who vary in their areas of expertise. So in that sense, it really appealed to me because not only was I growing to appreciate the content, I could also use the technology that is provided for me to understand. I completely agree with Vegeta and her reasons for choosing LKC Medicine because a lot of her reasons are similar to mine as well. I felt a very high affinity with the learning style here in LKC Medicine. I feel that it gives you a lot of flexibility. On top of the academic, I feel that the school culture here, because of the small cohort size and the small school size, I feel it's a very close-knit community and everybody is really out to help one another and to celebrate successes together. And that's the kind of culture that I really enjoyed and I could really feel for myself as a student here in LKC. There is also a unique house system here in LKC and there's a house tutor system where we have a tutor attached to a group of students. This provides us support especially in times of need and for a course as tough and as demanding as medicine, I'm very grateful for all these support systems as it can help me you know, go through really difficult times academically or you know, in any phase of my life transitioning from a JC student to a uni student and from a uni student to a doctor. So these are some of the reasons why I have chosen LKC medicine.